Hey guys, it's Consumer Outdoorsman here. We are down here on the Betsy River and we are at Homestead Dam. Uh, we were on the east side of the state the other day and today's the 13th and it's a beautiful Saturday. Got the wife and the dog down here watching people trying to catch some fish. Yeah, I see they're doing some fishing. But uh, we're gonna get a rod out here in just a little bit and get, get going. But just wanted to catch, just touch base with everybody and let everybody know that you know there are some fish up, but it's not it's not much right now. It's not a whole lot as what you, people are saying it was. But um, yeah, we're just gonna get out and try to catch some, see what happens. And beautiful river. Uh, I've never been over here before. Never been at this dam, so it looks like they're doing some drift fishing. So we'll give her a shot and see what happens. Catch you guys in a bit. Homestead Dam. Fish, fish, fish. All right. Hey, the next week got a fish. We're gonna watch him walk it in. How are you? If I was any better, I'd be you. Huh? If I was any better, I'd be you. Yeah, right. <laughs> what about all that? Yeah, a couple. Yeah, flashes? Couple. yeah, don't think we got a couple out here already. Nice. Yeah. I got yeah. my gear up in the truck. Right on. I didn't know. Uh, Want to see how busy it was? So yeah. I can. I caught. I latched into one that was me and my buddy both. I latched into one about right about like this right here. Yep. There have been three of them uh, caught out here about that size. And uh, they were on. They were. I think I told you it was on a wax worm fly that we tied up. Right on. Um, but I got some new. Some new ones I want to try this year. What I hear. Hey guys, well, we've come out here to the homestead and we were trying to find some fish and got my buddy Trevor. Hey guys. And uh, remember him from back before we went up to the UP and we did some beaver travel. We yeah, stayed a week up there. 2014. Yeah, that's yeah. where it was, been that long. So we seen some people catch some fish. There's some steelies up in here, some uh, your browns as well. Yeah, uh, in... not, not many. There's some, you'll find some small trout, you'll find some chubs, steelies, okay. pike, yep. uh, the occasional late season salmon that catches this way up in the river. Right on. Um, yeah, it's most... a self-sustaining river system too. So yep. you'll find um, you'll find salmon in here throughout the whole year because it's self-sustaining. It's the only self-sustaining river in northern Michigan that self-produces its salmon right on. without stock. Right on. So Trevor, he was up here with the fly rod, and uh, he's trying to get some uh, different bites. He's been experimenting with different flies. We were just running a, a spawn bag and uh, had a couple good hits, uh, nothing really to stick. Like I said. This is my actually my very second time ever wetting a line going for steelhead. Yeah. So good river, uh, lots of people out today fishing. It's a beautiful day. The wind's not blowing as bad as it was the other day. Yeah, yeah. This but, is only my third time out really. This is my third year getting out on 
right on fly chasing steelhead. Yep. So it's not something good. that I'm really seasoned at. Yep. You know? So you know, get out, enjoy things. What you know, God's created for us. And this is it's really cool to watch the fish. They're still jumping up the weir up here, the fish weir. Yeah. Oh yeah. You see, that's that's kind of cool to watch. So, well, we're gonna head over. My wife and I, we're gonna head over to the west coast and watch the sunset. So we'll get another video of that. So, hey guys, catch you on the later. We'll catch you out on the water. See ya.